Hey everyone, Connor from Futures Analytica back again with another Stacked Imbalance live trading recap video. I'll be trading a simple system which incorporates only basic aspects of order flow for an effective, easy to learn and profitable trading strategy. We're taking all of our trades using NinjaTrader with our Analytica Chart 3 system, which is available for purchase on our website, which will be linked in the description. The details of the strategy today will be pretty simple. We're breaking it down into green flags, which are entry conditions and red flags, which represent conditions we would not trade in. Our green flags today are that we are simply looking for a cluster of three imbalances in either direction on our chart. There can be a one tick gap in between one of these imbalances, but not both. These imbalances can carry over to the next bar as long as we are using range charts, but there cannot be a gap. Our red flags are that we are avoiding chop. If we see a large number of adjacent bars next to each other forming a range, or a trend that is opposite to the direction of the stacked imbalances, we would, not, we would red flag that trade idea. It's important to note that a red flag can persist for long trade ideas, but not include short ones, or vice versa. As we enter the trading day today, I want to point out that today the opening was very choppy, so we avoided those first five minutes. However, we saw a bullish trend start to form, and we waited for an imbalance and executed. We're using 10 ticks take profit and stop loss today, and entering using market orders as always. First trade of the day is a great example of one of those stacked imbalances that has one of those one tick gaps I was talking about. It's up to you if you guys want to include that gap strategy in your trading. I've found that it increases the amount of trades without reducing the success rate all too much, so I do like that trade-off of having a little bit extra alpha while sacrificing just a small amount of success rate. We get filled pretty quickly there. It was a very obvious enter right there. We had another stacked imbalance form right after we entered, which actually pretty much instantly filled us on that trade. So this next trade is pretty interesting. I do incorporate some advanced order flow elements into taking this trade, so I'm not completely following the strategy that I put out in front of us for the viewers. However, if you guys are more adept at reading order flow, you'd be able to see that although it looks like a range is forming, there was that consistent peak down of sellers overpowering buyers and sellers were eventually able to win. So at that point, we predicted this and we decided to enter short on that stack to balance. So it was another one of those gap trades. So you wouldn't have seen this if you weren't trading gap trades or if you were following the strategy where adjacent bars were filtered out. If you guys want to follow the adjacent strategy or the strategy where you filter out adjacent trades, you would not have taken this trade as obviously there was not an obvious trend forming and there wasn't really a uh, range break. In between these trades, we are continuing to observe the market, even though I have to cut it out for view reasons and for the YouTube algorithm to favor my videos because they like shorter videos. I do like to show you guys exactly what's going on here because it was a pretty short time frame from our last trade to this one. We saw that downtrend start to form right after that peak down. The price started to move down. We saw consistently decreasing delta, so we continue to watch it and look for a short entry. We enter short on that stacked imbalance. However, this trade actually ends up not working out in our favor. This is a good example of a trade that was traded perfectly. However, it just didn't work out in the end. There are times where you will consistently lose money over the course of a day, and that's okay. If you traded your strategy correctly, you should see that as a successful day. If anyone is telling you there's a system out there that can predict the market 100% of the time, they are completely lying to you. There is no such system out there and losing is completely part of it. But you do want to smooth out that PNL graph to make sure that you're getting that really nice solid uptrend of your cash. And that's the magic of this strategy is that there are so many trade opportunities throughout the day is that you are not tempted to revenge trade to make back the capital that you had lost on those last two trades for one another. You have so many opportunities, so many high probability opportunities that you have a very low chance of ending the day red if you followed your rules correctly. However, as Albert Einstein once said, trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. This would apply to trading as well. If you're consistently losing money on a week to week basis, there's probably something going wrong. Either it's your strategy or you're not executing correctly. You're either seeing some kind of variable in there that you might not have observed that is causing you to decrease the level of alpha that you're getting. So if this is happening to you, it might be time to step back and reevaluate what's going on. Maybe switch to paper trading for a little bit to get your gearing back in there and figure out what's going wrong. If you guys have watched any of my previous content, you would have seen that we had this really nice range breakout. Although it might seem that I might be going against my own advice to not trade during a range, that imbalance was right above that absorption level, which would indicate at least a miniature breakout. We saw a little bit of a pullback before we got filled here. However, that's just part of it. You're going to see these a lot and you need to stay mentally sound and stay in trades where your strategy is correct. 
you guys are exiting trades early, even when your strategy was executed correctly, just because you're out of fear of losing, you're gonna lose in the long term. If your strategy works over time, that one trade that you're leaving early is actually gonna do you more harm, even if it doesn't work out in the end, than if you had just stuck with it and took the loss, because now you are mentally telling yourself that that strategy doesn't work and that you can trust your day-to-day -day instincts of leaving trades early, which is completely incorrect. So for this trade, we're seeing a really nice upward trend being formed here. We're just watching for a stack and balance at this point. Price jumps up, we instantly see that and then get filled. We're going long here. So now that we're in the trade, we just have to watch and observe. If you guys haven't obviously noticed, for the sake of transparency, once I enter these trades, the footage is sped up. There's no point in watching a trade execute over the course of six or seven minutes when I can just fit it all into around 30 seconds of content. and we get filled there pretty easily. That was probably the most textbook out of all of the trades that we took today on the stacked imbalances. We enter long there and got filled pretty quickly. So if you guys wanna look for textbook entries like that, just be observant of formations that look similar to this and look for that triple stacked imbalance. For this trade, we took advantage of some of the more advanced order flow elements I was talking about. We saw that although price was trending upwards, Delta was continuously decreasing. In that little miniature range we saw formed around 1215, we saw that Delta moved downward into the negatives, and then we saw a little bit of an increase in price. However, Delta did continue to stay around zero. We saw at around 1222, we saw Delta was negative, although price moved upward. This would indicate that buyers are kind of running out of steam here. So once we peaked out at the top there and then we saw Delta crash all the way down to negative 934, and then now it's been moved down to around negative 730, we are gonna enter short there. So at this point, when we enter short, we're just gonna wanna observe and make sure that we aren't getting any whipsaws. At this point, for more advanced traders, I would recommend maybe leaving the, leaving the entry early, maybe adjusting your stop loss to a more t palatable level once we see price move closer to your take profit. That was our last trade of the day. We finished $2,700 up, so pretty standard in line with what we did on our last video. But over the week to week basis, we've been averaging about $2,300 a day. So this is above the average. Um, we actually haven't had any red days in quite some time. We had a couple of flat days where we made around 60 to $70, which was just due to us capturing a little bit of extra alpha at the end there. But um, as you can see, this is a very consistent strategy. You get a lot of trade ideas every day. There's not necessarily a lot of correlation with the trend that is um, the overall trend throughout the day. So although you might see some chop in the, in the beginning, you're gonna probably see that resolve near the end of the day. So just keep at it and at least observe what's happening as the market continues. You might not wanna trade, but uh, you at least wanna see how these trades are executed and how they end up resolving. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do want to give you guys an announcement. We'll be releasing the automated trading system with a target date of June 10th. I can't give a 100% quote on that. However, you'll be getting a pretty nice discount if you, if you own the lifetime license before June 10th on that system. So if you guys are interested in locking in that price, uh, make, you're going to want to make sure and go and grab the Analytica chart three before we release the automated system. The automated system will be a separate product and it will be incorporated into the Analytica chart three, meaning you need both to trade it. Um, it will be stacked imbalance based. It is a semi-automated system, meaning it basically takes out the reaction time of the equation here. So you basically arm the strategy and set it to enter in a certain direction. And once it sees a stacked imbalance, it'll enter in that direction. So you still need to watch out for chop and all that. However, it will do the entries and exits automatically. We've been seeing some really, really good performance with it in this uh, forward testing period over the course of two months. We've done some great back testing on it and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. It's actually outperforming myself when manually trading because it's just able to execute so quickly. It's definitely the best blend of automated and manual trading. It allows you to adapt to certain market conditions that a manual trader would be able to, um, but it also gives you the execution speed and consistency of an automated system. So I'm very excited to release that for you guys. And if you guys wanna check it out, go subscribe to the newsletter. I'll be sending out discount codes when you sign up and purchase the Analytica Chart 3. If you guys like the style of video where I show you guys the conditionals of the strategy in the beginning, please leave a like and comment. 
Um, I really need some feedback from you guys on what you guys want. I don't know if you guys like the live trading videos, which are longer and kind of more drawn out, or if you like this trading recap style. I kind of wanted to bring the blend of best blend of both worlds where I can explain the strategy up front and then show you guys how I execute it. It's hard to manage the YouTuber aspect of this while continuing to be a successful trader as you know, it is important to be profitable, so I like to trade my own strategy. Um, I see I see things that I might not, not necessarily be able to describe to you guys in the beginning of the video, but I wanted to record a session where I was trading the stacked and balanced strategy and show you guys the general idea of how to follow the rules. Although I incorporated some more advanced elements from the order flow system, the general theory of how to trade stacked and balances still holds firm. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next week.